Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Furt and this is Furt Tech. Alright, uh, so this is going to be part two of the PHP Basics tutorial. Uh, you can find all of the code on GitHub. There's a link down in the description and also a link for the uh, working demonstration of the code that you see here. Uh, again, I'd like to say thanks for watching. I do appreciate it. So on the schedule for today, we're going to talk briefly about variables, uh, print R statement, and a few other declarations uh, that have to do with variables. Uh, let's go ahead and get started. All right, just a quick reference. Remember that uh, the tutorial, of course, the demonstration, live demonstration portion of it uh, can be found online. And if you go to the tutorial index, you can, of course, click on part two, which will take you uh, to the visual demonstration there. So uh, again, in the code section of it, remember, we are looking for the code specifically between the uh, bracket indication or bracket notation that I've kind of created with these comments here. So everything above it, remember, is just uh, for the display there on the web uh, website of it on the client side. And then, of course, everything down at the bottom is just going to be for the buttons. So the first section we're going to talk about is going to be variables. So one thing to note is PHP is a little bit different than in some other languages in the sense that it does not have a specific type when declaring the variable. Well, what do I mean by that? Uh, so for example, in JavaScript, a lot of times you'll see this where they will put var or let uh, and in C, of course, for example, you'll have character, or another common one is going to be int as well. Um, and these, of course, being the, quote, types that tell the compiler that, hey, okay, well, I know that this variable that I'm storing is going to have a type. Well, it might be kind of difficult at first to understand what a type is if you're not already familiar with it. But in short, just thinking of it as everything has a type. A dog has a type. Uh, people can have a type. Cars can have a type. It's just a way of subcategorizing the data that's being stored in the value. Uh, basically, we can say we have a string, a character, an integer, and so on and so forth. Maybe a Boolean, for example. But like I said, in PHP, we kind of take a shortcut and we say, okay, well, we don't really need to worry about type of declaration. All we need to say is, okay, I'm going to indicate that I have a variable name and assign a value. But there are some nuances in the way that you assign it that will allow you to have some, uh, some type, if you will, of, of type uh, categorization. So I'll show you what I mean by that here. So note, uh, all variables in PHP start with a dollar sign. That tells the machine, okay, anything coming after this uh, until the next white space will be the name of my variable. So of course here, my variable is name. We have a single equal sign, that's important, just one equal sign. And then of course, a white space and the value I wish to store in the variable. And finally, the most important and easiest to forget the dreaded semicolon. Don't forget. You'll do that a few times. Don't worry about it. Even I do it sometimes. So notice here how I have a few variables laid out. The first one, of course, we have a double quote. And I'm saying, well, I want this string. And I'm indicating that by the double quotes, Mike, to be stored in name. OK, no problem. But then you notice, OK, well, I, but I do the same thing again with character. Notice dollar sign character single equal sign, but you know, single quotes like we do for a character and A, but notice how there's no difference. There's no difference in the way we assign it, except for here of the way we're indicating the bracketing. So lastly, we say, okay, well, for Bologna, uh, I'm just going to store the integer five. Notice we don't have any single or double quotes there on the outside of it. It's just the number. And then finally, of course, you can add two strings together, and this actually has some interesting behavior. So I'd encourage you to play around with variables and uh, the way these work together, of course, on your own 
uh, to really kind of get the feel for how these, uh, some, sometimes you can get some interesting behaviors out of these. But the big thing to note here is that uh, when you echo these out, just like we did before, note that it echoes all of these out basically as strings. So it would echo out Mike A5 or five plus five. In this case, it would be 55 there, not 10 like you would think. Now, uh, one thing to note is that here you see how I'm doing this echo statement. Of course, one thing I didn't um, clearly lay out is with an echo statement, anything you put between these parentheses is going to be outputted as a string. So what we've done here is we actually combine a little bit of PHP here with a variable. So I wanted to point this out because this might be confusing the first time you see it, and you'll see this a lot throughout the tutorials. This is a very handy way to kind of uh, concatenate a, a, a PHP value into a string, an echo string um, that we're sending back to the client. Note here we put the first half of it denotated by the opening and closing quote there. We add a period to say, okay, stop. I want to I want to concatenate anything after this. And then we, of course, put the variable name we wish to echo. And then finally, another opening and closing bracket because we want to add a break after it so that it puts a space. Um, that's just common HTML tag there. And then finally, the semicolon. So what we've successfully done here is just like I've done, uh, I, I've uh, put on the example, the live example, note with the echo, we print out the name Mike. Um, same, same similar situation there as I was just talking about. Um, here we go. With the echo, we print out I didn't put a break here, so this all prints on the same line, and of course, name, name, and then it moves on to the next line. So, there we go. Uh, pretty basic with uh, variables there. One thing to note is that they do and will hold the way that you store. So if you say, I'm going to put this with single quotes versus double quotes versus no quotes, it does keep track of that. That is going to be held within the variable value, but it is not needed to declare the variable of the type. So that might be kind of confusing, but um, as we go here, um, we move along a little bit more, uh, you'll see what I mean by that. So a quick thing I wanted to show you, along with the echo statement, there's another one um, called printr. Uh, printr will display information about a variable uh, this can be another handy way to output information to the client or for debugging. Sometimes I'll see this used. Of course, um, just like we did before, we put an echo statement, but this time instead of concatenating it into something like I did before, I just went ahead and called the print R statement on our character variable. Okay, if we go back to our example, note, look, print R outputs, prints out A. Remember, we stored A. See, doesn't really care when you're echoing it out. If it's a string or a character, it does the same thing. All right, lastly, I did say that there is no type. There is no uh, declaration type. Well, I wasn't 100% honest. There are types that can be declared, and these specific types are actually uh, covered a little bit more in a later tutorial. I didn't want to go into it now. Uh, I, I, you know, I, I did kind of lie. There, there are actually keywords that you can apply uh, uh, to the variable, like private, public, protected, global, static, um, and these have to do with the scope of variables. And we'll get into that uh, later in part six. Um, an example of this is you can define a constant uh, with a value of 3.2. Um, that is set um, by this value. And of course, if we go back, I'll explain what I mean by that. Note, I basically said, hey, I'm going to define a constant value with this value. And then I come down here, and like we did before, I concatenate that into a string and send it back. Here, a constant value then comes back as 3.2. So that's defining a constant, which is different than having a keyword like private, public, protected, global, and static. So I wanted to kind of point that out. You'll see uh, 
constants which are defined in this way and then you'll see keyword variables which will have the type private public protected global static and like I said we'll get into that later in part six so that goes ahead and finishes up for uh, this part of the tutorial uh, again I do appreciate you all watching um, you can catch me on twitch I do a lot of live streams also follow me at Twitter on Furtech and of course check out the rest of my videos here on YouTube I'll have more to come of course code for life <laughs>